What's up, everybody? I'm sure y'all read the title. Listen, I, I was talking with a rich man, right? He's he's very wealthy. And this is what he told me. I, I don't know nothing about this. This is what he told me. Maybe he was just pulling my leg. I don't know. Uh, let me give y'all the backstory first, right? Now, you have... I'm going to tell you the class of vehicles, okay? You have a... Um, What you call these cars? You have a Bentley, Lamborghini. You have a Bentley and a Lamborghini. Those are typically in the same category. You can jump online, find a Bentley and a Lamborghini anywhere, typically down in Florida, up north, run up there and buy it, right? Now, the uh, the Ferraris, the Bugattis, the Rolls Royces, you gotta get on a waiting list to get one of those. Now, we're talking about new, we're not talking about used. Typically for the for the Ferraris and the and the Bugattis and the and the Rolls Royces, you, you gotta get a, a get on a wait list. Then you have the typical Chevrolet and the Ford, right? Now, all three different classes of vehicle will get you from point A to point B. Alright. They will all get you to the grocery store. One will get you there in stock. Well, Several will get you there in style. Like Chevrolet and Ford, they have higher class vehicles. And, and then, you know, the, the Ferraris, the Bugattis, and the um, the Rolls Royces are for the elite. And typically, your Bentley's and your Lamborghini's is for people who want to look like they have money. Put it to you like this. Look at your favorite rapper. Your, your favorite rapper typically, typically is going to be in a, in, a, in, a, in a Lamborghini, a Bentley, things of that nature. And the guy that signs the rapper's paycheck typically will be in a, a Ferrari or a Rolls Royce. He'll be in the Ferrari when he want to show out for a female. Typically, he will get chauffeured around in his Rolls Royce. All right, then you have the people that listens to the rapper, typically are in a Chevrolet or Ford. Typically, the ones that want to be like the rapper will either be in the Camaro or the Corvette, right? Now, I always like to refer all of these things back to lawn service. Well, how do you compare that to lawn service? I'm gonna break it down for you. I was on a $800 or $180 property. Okay, $120 to cut the grass, $60 to hit the shrubs. Okay, I get a call. Now, from here on out, this phone is staying in my truck. I'm not, it's ringing too much. This phone will stay in the truck. I get a call. Gives us lawn service. Oh yes, how you doing? Uh, we, we need uh, get our uh, lawn mode. It's uh, it's kind of out of hand, and we need to get it taken care of. All right. Now, I like I said, I like to. The reason I don't like texting, I like to talk to hear hear the sound of your voice, and I can typically diagnose you while I'm on the phone. Now you said we need to get the lawn cut because it's overgrown. You said the lawn is overgrown, and it needs to be taken care of right away. Now, what that means, what, 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 what that means is, we we are in the middle of April. Yeah, your lawn hasn't been cut all year. And when you say it needs to be taken care of right, right away, that's typically saying either the HOA is on your back, or the neighbors are on your back, or you have some event going, and you don't you don't want your friends and family to see what kind of a pig you really is oh what you mean i'm a pig well i'm not saying you are a pig it's this how you you don't want you don't want people to really see how you live you don't want them to really see that you only get your grass cut once or twice a year all right now y'all can hate me for saying this but some of this stuff needs to be said so I answered the phone. Yes, Gibson's lawn service. Uh, we, yes, uh, I'm trying to see if I can get somebody to come out possibly today or if not tomorrow. Our lawn is overgrown and we need to get it taken care of right away. Uh, okay. Um, where is your property located? Uh, we're, we're located in such and such subdivision. Uh, okay, yeah, I know where that's at. Can you give me your address to where I can look at the property and give you an accurate quote? Uh, yeah, I'm at 123 Spooner Street. Um, the last guys we had... We're typically charging around thirty to thirty-five dollars a cut. We want to see if we can keep it in that range. 
Uh, ma'am, uh, our minimum is 65 a service. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I can't afford that. And then, oh, no. Uh-uh. Is this once a month? I said, no, ma'am. That is per service. Oh, no. Oh, uh-uh. uh-uh. Well, ma'am, how, how, how did you find me? Well, I just jumped on Google and typed in lawn care near me, and you were the first one popped up. You had 120 six five star google reviews right i said yes ma'am um what happened to the uh i said what happened if you don't mind me asking what happened to the guy that you had previously cut well he just stopped showing up and uh and, and and when he kind of stopped showing up it was almost at the end of the season last year so i didn't bother with it and now i just been calling and calling and he i just can't get him to answer the phone Hey, man, what you say he was charged again? Uh, thirty dollars, thirty-five. I'm just trying to stay somewhere right now. I, I will pay thirty-five, but he was paying charging me thirty. I I'd rather stay around the thirty thirty-five mark. I said yes, ma'am. Uh, I said either these are the two things that happened. Either he went out of business, or he was just doing lawn care as a side hustle. I said typically when it comes down to uh, lawn service, you you have to know your numbers and be profitable. I said, I just don't see how he was running a profitable business at $30 a cut. Oh, I understand. You understand, but you still want somebody to run over here for $30 to $35 a cut. See, they don't care if you go out of business. They really don't. They don't care. But they want you to go out of business to save them money. But look, it is what it is. I'm pulling up on my next property. I'll catch you guys on the next one.